um, first off, I don't want to see nobody in the comments like, oh my god, she got the same clothes on. Yes, because it's the same day. Okay, guys, so I have decided to do the perfect palette tag. And yes, I'm using a script. So, first thing off, best packaging. I think it would have to be a tie between the Naked 2 and the NYX Dreamcatcher Stormy Sky. Sorry about the light. The sun is bright this morning. Um... These, I like them a lot because this, I like it when the pots are like separated and you don't have to worry about getting into the other ones. And this one does a really good job of that specifically because they're circular. And this does too because they have the different pans. So I really like that a lot. Best color payoff. Um, I have to say again, it's the NYX palette. These are like really, really pigmented shadows, especially this one. It has a lot of like fine gradient shimmer but the color payoff is like oh my god that is brown even on brown skin it's really really brown so i think this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes as far as pigment most versatile i'd have to say that would be the stila in the light palette um it's got a lot of shades like i could travel with this alone but I do like some variety. I do like this a lot. This is probably my second favorite palette right now. I jump by month to month. I usually switch them out. And it did come with the brown eyeliner, which I'm wearing right now. It's really, really versatile. Really good for smoky eyes. And if you're a natural girl like me, I don't like a lot, a lot of color. Like, in the summer, I'll wear some blues and some purples on, like, the lower rim or something like out of the corner. But it's not something too, too outlandish. Best for traveling. Um, I'm kind of biased right now because I did just come to own the Naked 2. And I feel like it is the best, but my biggest problem is it doesn't have a matte brown. Which I love, love matte browns. And the Steel in the Light has Sandstone, which is in my opinion the best matte brown. But NYX is supposed to have a matte brown. So if I have the Naked 2 and like a singular of a matte brown eyeshadow, I'm good to go. Biggest regret. Um... I'd have to say it is the Physicians Formula Classic Nudes palette. I bought this my freshman year of college because my roommate had like dropped and busted one of my Forever 21 palettes, which was also like really, really cheap to begin with. Really, really bad eyeshadow once you think about it. I did not start taking care of my hair, skin, nails, all that till like sophomore year because I was so much of an athlete in high school. I didn't really have time to. And I picked this up, and it's kind of pretty good use. Like, that's almost out. I like a couple of the other colors. But they don't separate. And it's like you'd end up with more than one color on the brush, which is kind of pointless. And you're not going to get smaller brushes. So, I don't know. Maybe if you're, like, just in your purse and you just want a swab of color on your lid, it's good. But other than that, I mean, I keep it because I feel like I might use it for something. But... I just really don't like it and the packaging is like it's lace and it gets dirty so quickly. Best color names. Um only two of my palettes have color names, but best I'd have to say naked too, as far as like being girly and busted, snake bite, YDK, suspect. Those are really good names, so least used. Um I'd have to say it is a tie between the sex bomb and the nudes because I've already told you like that problem but sex bomb it's like it is the going out palette like if you're going out with your girls and like you're getting ready at a friend's house I think this would be a good palette to use because you got the shimmer then you got the black which is all you need. I have yet to find out what this red shade is for. I don't know what it could possibly be for. I've never seen people wear red on their eyes so... That's interesting, but I wish I did use this more, which I wish I was more social for going out. Most used. So, I would have to say it's a tie between In the Light and the NYX Dreamcatcher. I didn't realize it till like two seconds ago. This has a mirror, which is pretty cool. And I've had this for like a year now and did not know that. But I have to say it's a tie between those two because they're so versatile and they're so, they're still nudes, 
but they're summery nudes. Most loved. I would have to say it is my Naked 2 because before I had it like a couple days ago, I coveted it so much and I wanted it so bad, but I just... You know, like, you want those things, but, like, when you get paid, you pay all, like, the stuff you need and all that, and you just don't... Well, if you do treat yourself, you, like, completely forget about that long-lost thing. This is one of those things that I finally got it, so I'm really, really happy about it. So, most love. And the last one is Desert Island, which, if I was on a desert island, which palette would I use? And I know it's been a tie between all of these. And I would have to say, Gun to My Head, Stila in the Light. Because it does have the matte shade. It does have a shimmery brown. It does have the black. And it especially has the kitten. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my palette tag. I will put my last video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully I'll have new content up within the week. This is the first time I've like just got a morning with really good lighting and just gone ham on filming. So thank you guys for watching. Please click the links down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.